So now it's time to put all of your blocks together with your sashing. So this is the sashing here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the rows together like that horizontally. And once the four rows together, then we'll put them together vertically. So put these ones in then. So what we want to do is, uh, as per instruction sheets, it tells you how many strips to cut and um, cross cut into uh, 12 and a quarter because this width of these blocks are 12 and a quarter. So I've cut them at 12 and a quarter. If yours turn out different, cut them at that length. Then I've cut some wadding to go inside the uh, sashing. And then this is the sasha, which is four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it through Pauline Rogers two inch sashing tool because that's the width of the actual sashing there. So this is, I'll just show you how to do it. Um, what I normally do is finger press it in half here just to get the half. Then you bring the sides in to get to meet the middle. So you want to have it as e even as you can, at least the start of it. Give it a bit of a press, then thread it up through your two inch. Uh, sasha tool. Up and then back down. Then with your fork pin, which is a pin with two, two uh, arms on it, they're quite handy. Put either side of your uh, back seam there. Stretching out your material. Just use your iron to push that two inch sasha tool along and then give it a good press after you've done it. So go up to the next lot. So you'll probably be able to do around about 12 to 13 inches each time. And once you've got that all through, we can move on to the next uh, Sometimes it gets a little bit squished up, so I just go back and iron that centre there. Give it a bit of a help along. So now I put my four inch strip through my two inch sasha tool. So whatever size sasha tool you've got, it's double the amount, the width of fabric. So I've put that through and I need to cut these back to uh, eight, uh, sorry, 12 and a quarter. So I'm just doing one strip at the moment. So I'm just gonna cut two 12 and a quarter inch strips to actually put this one together, put this line together. that aside and I've also got two 12 and a quarter inch um, by two and a half inch strips for the back so this is going to be your spacer strip at the back so we've got those what we'll do is we'll put the two strips now this wadding is because this is a two inch uh, sasha the wadding's cut just under two inch, so one and seven eighth. You put this inside your uh, sashing. Give it a bit of a press to get it nice and flat and make sure those seams are actually matching or reaching each other, I should say, not matching. So that's one. So it just fits inside there nice and snug. OK, 
Okay. Doesn't matter there's that bit sitting out the end because we'll snip that off the end after we've put it all together. So what we're going to do first is we have to put the spacer strip on the back of the fabric. So what you've got to do is put your back side of the fabric, you put the spacer trip on, strip onto the back like that, pin it, and this is cut at 12 and a quarter by two and a half. So this will fit your blocks if you've got them cut down to 12 and a quarter. If you've, if you've kept them at 12 and a half or 12, you need to cut the spacer strip and your sashing strip at that, at that particular size. So I'm going to sew this on with a quarter inch seam. So that's block one. I've put it on the back of block one and I'm going to attach it to block two. So once again, that spacer strip gets attached to the back of block two. Pin it. Take it to the ironing board and iron it nice and flat. So you've got it stretched out and ironed nice and flat. Okay, now you've got to add this sasha to, over the top of this. So you want to line up. I'm going to cut that little strip of uh, wadding off there so it doesn't confuse it. You're going to line up the top of that and you can see the 12 and quarter fits and we want to get the Roxanne glue, which is amazing, basic glue, um, and run a strip just on the inside of your the, the line that you've just sewn, the seam, seam there. Make sure you've got it evenly over the 12 and a quarter over the, over the whole width of it. And then iron it. That actually sets it. The iron sets that Roxanne glue, which is amazing. It's fantastic. Then with run another line on this side. And then as you're pushing it down, just stretch it out. You want to just cover that seam line that you sewed the backspacer to your block with, if you understand what I mean. Iron it down. It's nice and hot iron. Right, so now that's ready to go, I'm going to sew that on with the monopoly thread so that you, it's hard to see and it's, um, you know, just blends in well with everything else on the top of the quilt. Using the monopoly thread, you'll just stitch either side of that uh, stuck down sasha. Stitch very close to the edge. Uh, try and stitch as close as you can. I mean, it's not absolutely imperative that you have it even.
And then I'm going to trim this little bit off the edge here. And as you can see, it's nice and even straight through. There's a, it's a nice straight line. That's what you want to aim for, having a nice straight line like that. And I'll get my white chalk pencil and I want to draw a grid on here because this has to be quilted like well, it doesn't have to be, but it looks better and it will be, it'll stabilise that wadding that's inside. So it's 12 and a quarter. So with a, with a little bit taken off each end, like one eighth, you can actually grid it off at two inch squares. So I just get my ruler, find the two inch. I just took one eighth off that end. Go through and draw... the two inch boxes and then I just did a, a like a cross through each one of them as you can see there's like a cross they look like a diamond when it's uh, quilted Take it back to your machine and just quilt it like you do everything else. going to go back up the other side. I'm going to give it a bit of an iron just to flatten it all out and then as you can see that looks really lovely with the quilted sash. The two lines together as per these two lines and we're going to join them together now with this sashing. So I've actually cut as per my measurements I've cut this at 39 and three quarters and it's the exact amount that I need um, and then I'm going to sew it once again onto the sash, onto the back, it's called the spacer bar, I'm going to sew that onto the back there and I'll sew it onto the, uh, then I'll come back and show you, I need you to match up some seams before you sew the other side of the spacer bar onto the actual um, fabric. So I've got the back, one, the, the spacer on one side of the top so I've, I've uh, sewn it on the back of it and what I, what I really want to do is make sure that these lines here match up with these lines here so that when you're going down the quilt to the eye you can see it. So what I'm going to do I've sewn that on the back I'm just going to iron this up like this so the back spacer I'm going to iron to the front that back spacer is attached to the back of line one so I'm just going to iron it up here. And then, with that down there like that, I'm going to line these strips up here. So those strips go down there and I'm going to pin, making sure that the back spacer is even along the top of your blocks. I'm just gonna pin that in place so that when it's open, you're gonna have a nice straight line 
um, with your blocks, uh, your sashing going down. Put lots of pins in there, make sure that spacer bar is matching up with the top of your blocks. For some reason that one's not long enough. I'm going to stretch it a little bit and ease it in so that we get it, we'll have an even line down the side of the quilt. All right, take that to the sewing machine, a quarter inch seam across the top and I'll come back to you. So we've got the back spacer strip on the back and we lined it up to get those nice lines going down this way. And now we have to stick this uh, sasha over the top. Just do it exactly the same using a your Roxanne glue. Just do a bit by bit. And line that up. Just covering the seam that you've just sewn that spacer on with. Right. Get your iron and set that glue. Then we want to do the bottom. So stretch that bottom out. So it's just covering the seam. So you haven't got any bulges in the back spacer when, once you've finished. Beautiful, and then just iron that so it sets that glue much easier to sew it if it's glued in place. Then you take it to the sewing machine, sew either side of it like that. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how I've actually gridded out this here because it's a little bit different. You want to try and get that cross exactly in that spot there. Okay, so I've got I've sewn that sasha on the width of that fabric, width of those blocks, I should say. So what I want to do is I just want to uh, mark sort of uh, an, a line going between those two sashes, and I want to put a cross in the middle of that, and then work either side of it. So start there and then work down. So two inch grid, two inch grid from there. The same as we did the, um, these ones here, these sashes here. Okay, and then just do the triangle which ends up looking like a diamond when it's sewn. And then move on to your next section. Do your the cross here, make sure they line up, cross there, one there, and then across, and then go work your way. I'll come back with you when I've finished doing all that. So I've got those first two lines together with the sashing, and just give the sashing a really good iron, just so you get it nice and flat. 
and then you'll need to, with your next um, two lines, do exactly the same. So you'll have two lots of two lines sewn all together. And then once you've got the two lots of two lines sent, uh, sewn together, go back and sew those two together. So it'll end up with the centre, you'll have the centre part of the quilt, which is just that centre there without this on the outside. So it'll be just that centre bit there. You'll be finished with that. And then the next block will be putting it on, putting your borders on the outside.